to become peas in a, in a, in a mixer. <laughs> Today on the Edgy Veg, I'm going to show you how to make millionaire shortbread for the millionaire in all of us. I could really use a million dollars this holiday season. But instead, we'll just have to make do with our millionaire shortbread. It's just as good, right? Subscriber of the week. This week is Antoinette Yeager. She watches all of our videos. She always leaves a nice comment and she joins us for our live streams twice a week, every week. Thank you so much for watching, Antoinette. And if you want to be subscriber of the week, make sure that we see you. Make sure you're following us on all the social media. Links are in the description box below. And you could be subscriber of the week next week. If you don't know what millionaire shortbread is, we have that in common. I know it was invented in 1692 by a millionaire who spent all his money on shortbread covered in caramel doused in chocolate. So that's what we're gonna make today. Today on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Shortbread. Meet our contestant. Contestant number one, flour. Contestant number two, baking powder. Contestant number three, pink Himalayan rock salt. Watch out for this contestant, she's salty. To help our contestants out, we have a whisk as a lifeline. I've definitely watched the show in the last 10 years and know how this goes. All three of our contestants have a chance to become a millionaire's shortbread. Now let's meet our wet contestants. Two sticks of creamy butter. And to sweeten things up, sugar. To make them even better than they are, find them as a team, we're gonna cream them together. They've come together as one, but now we're gonna take the first three contestants and mix them with the wet contestants. And then they will all be millionaires. Shortbread. Yeah. Ooh, poof. Oh, I missed half of it. I'm an expert, trust me. And mix. Now we want our contestants to mix together really, really well for about two minutes or until they resemble small little crumbles, kind of like peas. Plot twist. We have two more contestants. At a low speed, we are going to add some vanilla and some almond milk. You can also use soy or rice. Mmm, yummy! Now that our contestants are mixed together, we're going to test their stamina by putting them in a casserole dish and throwing them into the oven for some heat. You really want to make sure that you're pressing the contestants into the baking pan and evenly disperse them. You want them all to get the equal amount of heat so that they can become millionaires. Shortbread. We've heated the oven to 350 and contestants, we've put 20 minutes on the clock. All right, audience, what do you think we're going to make next? A, caramel, B, dirt, C, pine cones, or D, candy canes. Leave your guess in the comment section below to win literally nothing. This is an arbitrary game with arbitrary prizes. If you guessed A, caramel, you were correct. We are going to top our shortbread with caramel. So we're gonna need vegan butter condensed coconut milk, brown rice syrup, and brown sugar. And we're gonna cook that for about 20 minutes until it reaches 250 degrees Fahrenheit. After about 20 minutes, you wanna add in your vanilla. Now that our contestants are officially shortbread, we're gonna cover them in hot caramel sauce. All right, audience, we have one more thing to put on our shortbread and caramel. What is it? A, moths, B, soil, C, chocolate, and D, mistletoe. If you guessed C, chocolate, you're right. You win a prize. Your prize is the full recipe. Link in the description box below. I'm gonna take two packages of chocolate and melt it in the microwave. I like to do this at 30 second intervals. Only one and a half packages fits in this bowl. I didn't think ahead, but I'm gonna put it in the microwave. Now that we've smoothed out the chocolate, I'm gonna put it into the fridge for like three hours. Thanks to the magic of YouTube, you'll see this in just a second though. After three hours in the fridge, and a cutting session that you should probably do with a warm knife. Trust me, I learned. We have dun, 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 these cute little guys. Look at how cute they are. We have our chocolate, my favorite layer. 
then we have caramel, and then we have shortbread. Let's see if it makes me feel like a millionaire. Mm -hmm. You can't have any. It's all mine. So definitely make this. It is the perfect holiday treat. It's rich, it's comforting, it's creamy, it's chocolatey, it's caramel. It's all my favorite things. All right guys, I'm gonna go devour this, but if you like this recipe, make sure that you give it a big, huge thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section what recipe you would like to see next, or just like what you're doing over the holidays. I would like to know. I read all of your comments. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you never miss out on another recipe by the Edgy Veg. Thank you to our Patreon supporters for supporting us each and every month, and I hope you guys have an amazing holiday. Bye!